With thousands of, of Ohioans still without power tonight, it is bringing up questions like, how does the power grid work? And is this a sign our grid is in trouble? 10 TV's Lindsay Mills is here now with those answers. Lindsay? Yolanda, let's start here. There are three energy grids in the country. There's one in the eastern part of the country, another on the western half of the U.S. The majority of Texas has its own smaller grid. Here in Central Ohio, we depend on AEP Ohio. AEP is served by the PJM grid, which is part of that eastern region of the U.S. grid. PJM coordinates the movement of electricity across 13 states, including Ohio. Electricity comes from a generator, which can be powered in a few different ways. Burning fossil fuels, collecting wind, solar, or water energy, or from nuclear reactions. So how does it get to you? First, it travels to transmission substations. Transformers then convert it to extremely high voltages for two reasons. It helps the electricity travel long distances, and it reduces the fraction of energy lost in transit. Then it travels through the wires overhead and underground to you. On those power poles you see, there are what's called step-down transformers. Those convert power to lower voltages before it's distributed to your home. There's a uh, concern about uh, the rest of the summer and also uh, the Future. Abdullah Shafizadeh uh, is the director of Ohio uh, State's uh, College of Engineering's Risk Assessment and Management of Structural and Infrastructure Systems Lab. He and his team assess critical infrastructure systems. He fears this type of situation could become common. As the climate change is uh, impacting the nature of hazard, either in terms of frequency or intensity of the events, some of the events that are currently unlikely are are going to become more likely. He says possible solutions include hardening the system, which means upgrading grid equipment or creating microgrids. And we as consumers can pay closer attention to how much energy we're using and when. And he adds this is something that research and development alone can't fix. He says it will require integration of resources from across different sectors, policymakers, and the utilities to determine a cost effective and long term solution to making sure our infrastructure can keep up. Yolanda.